Today on Woodworking McDaniel Style, I'm gonna talk about a few lathe upgrades. Okay, that... so I have a Powermatic lathe, and I built a shelf underneath. There's a lot of options, but I built a shelf underneath years ago to put tools on. Uh, but what I always noticed was I can't, never could find the tools because all of the wood chips would just bury my tools. So I would often just be able to find a handle or two, or I'd have to knock all the wood chips away to be able to find what I was looking for. So I did a couple improvements uh, last year. One thing is you'll see this wood on the back, it's, it's sloped. I'm gonna walk around here so you can see what's going on there. <clears throat> so the wood chips fall right through the crack, right through that crack and then they hit the board. And then that pushes all the wood chips so that they slide off to the end. So that's easy for me to just clean up later. That keeps the wood chips off, off the lower part. But that, that wasn't enough. So I had my wife, she does a lot of sewing. She used, uh, we used some Velcro and some rare earth magnets. And I just added this sheet. And so now all the wood chips that would have come off the front they will develop a pile right at your feet, but they do not go in and mess up that shelf. So if I ever need to get something, I simply just reach in here. I've got, I can see exactly what my tools are and I have not cleaned this out for two years. You know, it just stays pretty clean. So that's one of our improvements. Okay, <clears throat> so if you've turned uh, a lot with your, with your lathe, uh, spindle turning, maybe not so much, but if you're turning big bowls, uh, you know how far some of those wood chips can fly. And I had a problem for years with just wood chips going all over my shop, you know, 20 feet behind me, 15 feet behind me, on my tables, in my shelves where I kept my sandpaper, where other tools were, and, and it was just kind of annoying, and you'd have to clean up if you wanted to go work on another project. So what I did was I, if you can see, that railing up on the ceiling, I did a angled mounted railing you could there's multiple ones sold on amazon i'll try to see if i can find them provide a link in the video but i bought two of those <clears throat> and my wife uh, took an old pair of uh, bed sheets we sewed some some uh, hooks in there for us to put on those rails and now these curtains can slide and what happens is the wood chips i'm on the lathe and the wood chips are coming right at me and they all hit this sheet and fall right to the floor. So the rest of my shop doesn't get anything messy from, from turning. Everything's kind of contained, you know, within a six foot radius of this lathe. And so it really helps to keep the rest of my shop clean. It's been a major improvement. Now, if you need to, I've got like a, some of my um, other tools right here. Like I've got my chucks and things right here. So I just can pull the sheet away. I can reach in here and grab a chuck or, or whatever that I need out of my lathe box here. And then I can sh shut the curtain and I'm back in business. So that's been another great, great improvement. And it's really helped me keep uh, wood chips out of my shop, the rest of my shop. Hope some of these ideas are helpful to you. It would be helpful if you uh, like and subscribe to my page. Um, plan on being active if people like the content.